Here we are inside the experimental cyclone batch style rocket mass heater, where we removed the old heat riser in part one. Now it's time to build a replacement. The new fire brick heat riser will have thicker, more insulative walls, while maintaining the same cross-sectional area as the original 4-inch pipe. Each of the 32 bricks is cut to fit snugly within the stratification chamber, while still leaving enough room for the exhaust port on the opposite wall. I start with a base of clay mortar, which is made by mixing enough clay slip into sand to get the right combination of stickiness and workability. The fire bricks are dipped in clay slip and then stuck into place. Surface tension draws the slip into the cracks between the bricks, providing a seal and a weak bond when it dries. The insulated orange fire brick that we are using has a tendency to absorb the water out of the clay slip, rendering it too dry to work its way into the cracks. Soaking the bricks in water before dipping them in the slip prevents this from happening. One important side note is that Donkey and Uncle Mud suspect that the clay from this site which was used in the original build may not be able to withstand the temperatures of the heat riser. So in the construction of the new riser, we have opted to use fire clay. This is the last, last brick going into the riser. Yep, uh, no gaps. One final check with the mirror. Nope, they're all tight. Time to seal this big hole I made. If you like this sort of thing, come on out to the forums at permies.com where we talk about rocket mass heaters, homesteading, and permaculture all the time.